Polls suggest a majority of Americans now do support this move or a move like it. There are questions about what will happen as millions of new citizens, potentially, start signing up for health care and possibly Medicare. What will be the practical effects of that? Stu Varney is the anchor of Varney & Company on the Fox Business Network. So the, the debate over whether this should happen and so on, that's a different, that's a different debate. Yes. This is if it's going to happen, and now it's picking up momentum. I mean, you've got, there's a latest Fox News poll shows 66% of Americans want to see something like this happen. You got bipartisan senators. You got McCain, Rubio, a couple of other senators on the Republican side joining with Democrats to come out and say, "We believe this is a good idea." What would let's start with Obamacare because right now that does not cover illegal immigrants in this country. That's correct. What what will happen if they gain citizenship? Okay, that's important that you make that caveat. If they gain citizenship, okay, that's very important because there is a, a probationary status in these in these preliminary negotiations. But let's assume it all goes forward and 11 million people achieve citizenship and are therefore eligible for Obamacare. We don't know the cost of that, but we do know that a proportion of those 11 million would be going on to Medicaid. We know that a proportion of them would be going into the subsidized health care exchanges, which Obamacare sets up. That implies there is going to be a cost to our medical system, to the federal taxpayer, if you make 11 million people suddenly, quickly, citizens. You also have the question of what about uh, Medicare? They would be eligible for Medicare at some point in the future. That's 11 million people. Is that people. right? You don't have to, you know, work legally in the American system for a number of years before you can no. qualify for Medicare. It's just, no. I'm an American citizen. You're a citizen, you're in. As you're of today. I mean, you could move here tomorrow, and, and if you became that is a legal citizen within yes. 10 years, you'd be eligible for yes, Medicare. Yes, that is correct. And the cost of that, we don't know. The cost to Obamacare, we don't know. But there will be a cost. And I, I think that the cost, the financial angle, should be part of this debate. Granted, it is a moral, administrative, legal debate, yes, a political debate, got all of that. But the question of finance hangs over that debate mm -hmm. and should be part of that debate. And at the moment, it's not because we don't know how much. And But, you know, the, the other side of it is you've got these folks are already in America. They're normal human beings. They have health issues. When they have their health issues, they don't just sit at home letting the cancer grow. They go to the hospitals. So they're already likely taking advantage of our health care system and either they pay out of pocket or like a lot of uninsured American citizens, they don't pay at all. So, so in other words, they're already in the system. So could this wind up That's legitimizing the, the whole cost situation? It would be a saving. If these 11 million people become citizens, they don't have to go for medical treatment to the emergency room, which is very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if they're not going to the emergency room, but they're going through the system legitimately, that is a saving. You're no longer uh, putting that enormous cost onto the hospitals. Mm -hmm. That is an area of saving. The other questions are a question of cost. Uh, exchanges, Medicaid, and Medicare. That will cost more savings, though, on the emergency rooms. Because right now, federal reimbursement for uncompensated care has been slashed under Obamacare. So if, if an illegal immigrant goes to a hospital and gets care, um, the, he, then he, he may or may not pay. But if he, if he qualifies, if he becomes a citizen and, and, and gets covered by Obamacare, uh, he is the federal government will yeah. not reimburse it to You're some paying large that system. way as opposed to this way. Yeah, okay. So yeah. I'm not saying it very well, but um, the costs are going to go up. I want to ask you this, though. There, so we're all talking about whether if they become actual citizens, but there will be this probationary period yeah. that you mentioned. You know, I think, I think of the movie Backdraft that called probies in the fire department. You're a probie. Yeah. Um, when you're a probie, American citizen, th right now Obamacare would not cover them, but there no. is a push by some Democratic lawmakers to change that too. Okay. This probationary status that you're talking about would be a very new and different legal status. It will be someone who is not documented, illegal, but they've gone through all of the background checks and they paid their back taxes. They're in the process to get towards citizenship. But at that point, they only have probationary status and they may not receive federal health benefits, period. Now, there's a push to eliminate this probationary status because it would be a two tier of status, wouldn't it? Two tiers of residence, in fact. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want that, well, move to push it, so that as soon as you've gone through these background checks, you are eligible for Medicare, Medicaid, and Obamacare. Wow.